Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on lotions and products that are good for keratosis polaris. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so if you are here, you already know what keratosis polaris is, or I've heard people call it chicken skin or KP. I'll be using those terms interchangeably in this video. Before we get started, I do want to get some housekeeping out of the way. Please follow me on Instagram. I do lots of content over there. I would love to see you. Also, follow me on Like to Know It. I'll leave the link down below. And let's just go ahead and get into it. So, keratosis polaris is a really common condition and it is self-treatable and it's basically a build up of keratin in the skin that's a protein and that protein gets into the hair follicle along with dead skin cells and it blocks it and that's where you get that bumpy type of feeling on your skin and there's so many things that you can do to help remedy that in this particular video i'm just strictly going to talk about creams lotions body butters even though they're, they kind of all fit into one category. And the products that I'm gonna talk about contain AHA, some kind of acid. You need some type of product that has an ingredient that will gently exfoliate the skin, whereby making it smoother over time. So I do have one kind of bonus in here um, that doesn't have some type of acid in it, and it's mainly a product that's going to help keep your skin moisturized. So I do want to talk about that. So with all of that being said, let's get into the first one. So I have a total of five here that I want to talk about. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with Rin. And this is a AHA Smart Renewing Body Serum. And the acid that is in this particular serum is lactic acid. Lactic acid is really going to be good if you have sensitive skin if you just really can't take anything harsh and lactic acid is going to exfoliate the skin wherever it is that you have the condition and produce smoother skin over time when, when i say over time all of these products you do have to use them consistently uh, for them to work so it's not going to be a use it a week or a couple of weeks or anything like that but this particular product is very thin if i shake it a little you can hear the product kind of moving around in there that's just the fyi of the consistency this particular product does have an orange scent like a fruity type of scent so if you are sensitive to smell uh, this one might not be the one for you um, one thing that I don't like about this, and I've talked about this before on my channel, is that it can have a sticky type of feeling. So when I do use it, I just use it at night. And that's me, you know, when I say sticky, that, that can be subjective. But anyway, this one is good if you have KP. I did pick this one up at Sephora, and the size of this is a 6.8 ounce. All right, so the next one that I have is a cream. This is by Skin Fix. And this is their Reserve AHA Renewing Cream. It says clinically proven to smooth, dry, rough, bumpy skin and keratosis polaris. So this one is specifically marketed toward that treatment. Um, I wouldn't say that this is like a butter. It's kind of like a cross between a butter and a lotion, but I have used many lotions um, that have this type of consistency. It really is uh, thin, very light, um, and it doesn't really have a smell. So if you're sensitive to smell, I really, would, I really wouldn't worry about that. Um, again, it has the AHA in it, which, so it's going to, again, slough away those dead skin cells over time. I also like the fact that it has a lime extract blend in it, which is also going to help with that condition. I did get this particular product from Sephora, and this size, this is a 10 fluid ounce of uh, little tub. All right, so this next product is uh, Fruit of the Earth. This is a vitamin E skin care cream. And this particular product contains vitamin A. And a lot of times when you're out searching for a product, you know, typically the first thing that we look at is the name. But I always talk about reading the ingredients. This one also has vitamin A in it. And as you all know, vitamin A is going to slow down the production or help to slow down 
the production of the keratin that builds up on your skin. It's also a great moisturizer. You know, all of these, you know, when you're treating your KP, you do need to, I feel as though, follow it up with a good moisturizer uh, because you do want to help keep your skin hydrated and as moisturized as possible. But this one is really good at softening the skin as well and smoothing it out. This one does have a scent. It's hard for me to describe it. I almost want to say that it's, uh, it's hard for me to describe it, but this one does have a scent. So just wanted to um, make you aware of that. This one is the most affordable um, out of everything that I have. Although there are plenty of more affordable ones out there. Um, that you can definitely use to treat the condition, but this serves as an excellent treatment for KP. Alright, so the next one that I have is by Ahava, and this is the Dead Sea Plants Caressing Body Sor Sorbet, and comes in a container like this. This one is really fluidy, um, like a lotion, even though it comes in a tub. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot to tell you the size of this one. This one is four fluid ounces. So back to this one. This one does have lactic acid in it. Again, if you read the ingredients, and remember lactic acid is going to gently over time break down uh, the skin, whereby making it smoother and softer. Also, this one serves as a really good moisturizer and you know it provides a lot of hydration to the skin. I like using this particular one at night. I wouldn't say that it's heavy, um, only because I feel as though it serves two purposes. You know, it does have lactic acid in it as well as it does a good job of keeping you moisturized and hydrated. And I pretty much gauge that by after 30 minutes or an hour, if my skin feels, still feels soft and supple and smooth, you know, all of that good stuff, I pretty much determined that it is good for moisturization. But this one is kind of like you're killing two birds with one stone. And as far as the total amount, this one does have 12.3 ounces. So you get quite a bit in this particular tub. All right, so the next one that I I want to talk about is by Sol de Janeiro and this is the new Bomb Dia Bright Cream and this is relatively new to the bunch uh, but I still wanted to talk about it with you because it does contain AHAs and it's infused with a renewing fruit AHA and vitamin C. Um, this one is probably the thickest out of all of them but it's not um, thick like a body butter. Um, I feel as though it does absorb really well into the skin. It does have a scent, but the scent is very, very mild. I would say that this one could be used during the day uh, because it is fast absorbing and it's not going to, you know, make you feel like you still have product on your skin, um, even though it is on the thicker side. It does, you know, blend in or smooth in or absorb really well on the skin. And I really do love it and I have been enjoying using it. All right, so the last Last one is a bit of a bonus. Um, this particular product isn't going to help you uh, per se with KP, but it is going to do an excellent job, probably out of all of them, um, at keeping your skin hydrated and moisturized. And this is the Josie Mayer Whipped Argan Pro Retinol Body Butter. Now, this does say body butter is probably the same consistency as the previous one. That I, talk, uh, that I spoke about. It will do a good job of helping your skin stay very smooth. So for example, if you have a product that has the acids in it and all of that good stuff, you could probably use um, that interchangeably or like with this one. So have yourself a good moisturizer as well as some type of resurfacing product. And that's pretty much how I like to pair these products. Because when you're treating KP, you really do need a combination of things. In my opinion, you need a good body wash, you would need a scrub, you know, just things like that that are going to work best for that type of condition. So this particular product has eight fluid ounces in it. And as far as the scent, I, I really don't smell anything. So that's good because, you know, a lot of people out there are sensitive to scents. 
So this is a really good one. So that's pretty much it, short and sweet. Let me know if you have been treating your KP and what products you're using. You know, there's so many different products that you can use that are out there on the market. You know, the main thing that you wanna keep in mind is look at the ingredients and if you can find out what percentage of that uh, particular ingredient that product has. So anyway, let me know down in the comments. I'd like to know what you're using as well as other people. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, switches.